All right, so I just got here looking pretty busy, so I'm not sure how much I can film. Well, let's just see what's available. Sometimes it's a hit, sometimes it's a miss. They did change the location of the puzzle section, so I feel like now it's harder to find them, but let's just see what we can get. Well, I couldn't film a ton in there because when I was at the puzzle section, there was a guy who would not stop talking to me. I'm not trying to be rude, but he was very chatty. But when I was there, they were actually filling things up like usual and they added some things while I was looking at board games. And I ended up with like seven puzzles, a board game, a couple other things that were not puzzle related. Definitely spent my $50 on puzzles, but I came out with some really cool finds. I hope I have the pieces and I don't think I will be going to another store. So I will finish up my work day, head home and show you what I got. All right, I am back and I scored. So I did spend my whole $50. One thing was a little bit pricier. So I probably could have gotten a few cheaper puzzles, but I'm excited for what I found. I did also pick up a couple non-puzzle related things. I do have a board game, which I'll show you. And then I did get a vase and a cookbook for my coworker. And then I also got a VCR for my mom uh, because when I was there last time, theirs broke. And I don't know if it's going to work, but it was a $5 risk. So I was gonna bring it to her when I go to Maine in a couple weeks. So let's just go into the puzzles. The first one is a Harry Potter puzzle, and I'm definitely someone who grew up with Harry Potter, went to all the book launches and saw all the movies, got to Universal Studios, so I was excited for this. It is a circular puzzle by, I don't know the brand. So it's manufactured by Winning Moves International based out of London, and it is a Harry Potter puzzle called Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone Puzzle. So it's circular, it's photographs, which you guys know I'm not a huge fan of, but I think it'd just be fun. And I have, since it has a little rubber band, usually that's a good indicator that it has all the pieces. Really, since I've started shopping at Savers, I've probably gotten at least 20 to 30 puzzles from them, and I haven't had a single one miss a piece. So I have had really good odds. So the next one I have is a Springbok puzzle. It is a thousand pieces. The box is definitely a little abused, um, but hopefully it has all the pieces in there and it's made in the USA. I haven't really done a Springbok puzzle since I was really young, so I'm excited to branch into them a little bit more. I do have a couple other ones that I've thrifted as well. And this one is called Eiffel Magic. So it's a Paris scene and you have the Eiffel Tower and then it's like an alleyway. And I have been to Paris when I was in high school. So this one was just super fun looking. So I think it will be relatively doable. And I, again, am excited to branch more into this brand. And then the next one is a bits and pieces puzzle. Oh, should I just tell you the prices? Both of those were $5.99. This one here was $4.99, and again, it's bits and pieces. It's another circular puzzle, and it looks like it has jumbo sized pieces, because when you look here, it has a pretty decent sized pieces. It says, with big, easy to handle pieces, large format round puzzle. It's only a 300 piece puzzle, which I like sometimes. You know, you can quickly do it when you're watching a TV show, and I'm excited to do this one. It's definitely more of a traditional style, um, but we have three puppies. One is getting into mischief, one has a bone, and it is cute, and I just thought a 300 piece circular puzzle would just be a fun one to do. And then the board game that I got this time around, because I love board games, is one that I had when I was a kid, and I think my parents still have it, but I was just talking to some friends about it, because we always play with their kids and them. And so I'm excited that I was able to find it for, again, $5.99, and it is Cranium Family Fun Edition. 
So I remember loving this when I was younger. You have to have teams and there's a ton of different activities and it's kind of like, oh, what's that sh uh, show called? Minute to Win It. Like it has some of like those type aspects in it. It's just super fun and I'm excited to have found it. I'm sure the clay that it comes with is probably like old and, and hard, but I'm sure we could substitute with like Play-Doh or something, but there we go. We have Family Fun Cranium. And they had a whole bunch of other craniums there too, but I specifically remember that one when I was younger. Uh, and then next we have another puzzle and it's 500 pieces. They had a lot of Doddle puzzles there. They had a lot of the city ones, like they had San Francisco, they had Chicago, there was one other one. And I just didn't really feel like doing a city one. They're an okay brand for me, but it's not my go-to, mostly because of the box. You know, it's one that has like the flap open versus a standard puzzle box where you can like prop it up and have a picture. I mean, I guess I could prop this thing up, which is like the little sleeve. But I just like traditional puzzle boxes. Like there's no need to change it. Yeah, that's how it works. But it's Noah's Ark by Doddle. And it just looks super fun. Lots of animals, of course, because it's Noah's Ark. And I thought it'd be fun to do. And then the next one I have will be tricky. So this is a, is this Gallison? And usually Gallison has a paper backing. So I'm not sure what they did to this puzzle because it's two-sided. And I'm usually not a big person to like go hunt down for two-sided puzzles but a few reasons why I thought this one would be doable um, it's only 500 pieces so not a crazy huge puzzle but it's also very distinct sides so I do have one from Disney where it's like dogs on one side and cats on the other and I'm like that's too much fur to handle this one you have the dollhouse and then on the back side is the inside of the house which I think is super cute so I got it. Oh, and that's interesting. So he even tells you on the back, one side is glossy, one side is matte. So it looks like it's going to be pretty easy to do or decipher which side is which, but I think it'd be really fun to do both sides. Anyways, so we have that one there. And then this one I saw and I was very intrigued. So it's a 500 piece puzzle and it's called Coke Is It. And the brand is, it doesn't, oh, Hallmark. It's made as a Hallmark puzzle. So that one looks really cute. It's uh, all different like Coke memorabilia. How old is this puzzle? Does it have a year on it? I'll have to look it up because I'm very interested. It just seemed very like vintage and I thought it'd be interesting to try something that's older. Maybe it's just a really beat up box. Actually, it's not a beat up box. It looks really nice. So I thought this would be a good one. It was only again, $4.99. The final thing was an expensive find. Um, it was $15.99 and it, I'm not sure how it's going to be because it's a cubic fun puzzle, but the cubic fun that I did, I don't think you would have been able to redo, um, but it seems like it's very sturdy inside. I did not look it, I didn't open it up. But I, it's another Harry Potter option. There was another Harry Potter puzzle that I didn't even get. They had a lot of options to this time around. It was pretty exciting. It's 453 pieces, but it's five different puzzles. It's the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. If you saw my Flying Dutchman puzzle, then you saw that it's like interlocking and you like build it more as model than as a jigsaw puzzle. So this one looks super fun. And again, it's five pieces. So we have like Diagon Alley houses and then we have the Hogwarts Express with a little track situation. And it looks fun, you know, and I just did that cubic fun one and it, oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff. On the back, I'm looking at the back of it. So we have, the train car, and then we also have a station, and then we have four different buildings, and then it also has stuff in the inside of the buildings. So this looks really cool. Um, I don't know where I would display it, but I just thought it was going to be really fun. And I don't, I'll just check to see how much it is online because their stuff isn't cheap. So I'm excited to have this. I'm hoping it is in good condition. I wanna open it up because this is, I have scissors here. Okay. Opening it up and guys, it's brand new. Look at it. So it is completely brand new. The packets are actually still in the cellophane. 
That was a good find. I'm excited. Do you want to see a video on this? Because I know it's not Jigsaw Puzzle, and I don't even know if it's still available, but if you want a video on that one, let me know. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me in this very spontaneous video of me going to Savers. I definitely got some good finds this time around, and I would love to go again in the future. So excited to have won that $50 to inspire me to go, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.